Welcome back to the Stan Watson Show. I am your co-host, Samantha Cardwell, and we are excited because we've got a great group here on your mark, Athletics. We're here with Coach Ken Dix, who is the founder of oh, Coach you. Dix, I'm sorry. Thank you for having us. I'm glad to have you here, and you've got a lot of other coaches with you. Yes, we do. Like you said, I'm Coach Ken Dix, and Coach Tony Henry. Mm -hmm. All right. Coach Conrad Clark. Coach to Dr. Okay, are we going to work out tonight? What, what's, what's going on? <laughs> you going to work out tonight? I'm going to work out tonight. I'm going to work out tonight. Okay, we'll just hear about your organization and what you do. Why don't you tell us a little bit? Well, we, we train kids in fitness, youth okay. speed in the kitchen. Um, Excellent. We, we help kids yes. get to the next level. Um, it's, it's about helping the community for us. Okay. Um, every kid that comes to the door, may not want to be an athlete, those are the ones that want to get in shape and we help those as well. Mm -hmm. Because as you know, there's a obesity problem mm -hmm. on the rise without you. Especially so in our schools that want to do a lot of exercise and more yes, sir. Yes. Now, you, you, said you started pretty young, six, age six? Yes. Now most times gymnasts start about this time and mm -hmm. we might give our kids a basketball but not really competitively. You know, why are you starting so young? Because it looks like I got soccer here, a little baseball. Yes. Why so young? Because at that age, the kids mm -hmm. just learning about themselves their and their bodies, bodies. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. So we throw in what we need in terms of athletic ability. Okay. So the curve is a lot easier yeah. as they get older. Yeah. Okay. okay, excellent. Now you said that motor skill development at age six, I keep going to young people. <laughs> the motor skills are not that good. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've called coach T-ball mm -hmm. and basketball. Just sometimes the motor skills, how do you help with the motor skills? Well, believe it or not, simple things like hopscotch and, oh, okay. and look, yeah, so okay. we, we take that we used to do. Exactly. Uh, we yeah, used to do. We used to do when we go to the rocks. So we implement little drills, little techniques okay. and exercises to help them. Excellent. Now you all guys, where are the ladies at class? I see some young girls that might be soccer players. Yes, we do. We don't we have a female on staff and she's our receptionist right now. She's okay. in training. No, hopefully we got yeah. in training. Yeah. 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 We're good. Tell us a little bit about your success story that you started at age six all the way up to eighteen. Who are some of the people that may have come through uh, the classes and uh, well, well, we, we started last year we have about Eight or nine guys that just signed to a nice college college. Yeah, school. Excellent, yeah, excellent. excellent. All our high school athletes. What's some of the schools? Some of the high school they got. Stockbridge High. Stockbridge High. Monday's Meals. Meals. Great yeah. story about Monday's Meals okay. running back. He okay. came to us with a knee injury. He was coming off a rehab. Okay. And he ran for 2,000 yards. Oh, my God. After the training with us to get him back where he needed to be. Oh, oh really? Yes. Yes. Now, are you guys former football or basketball players? We, 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 all all we, we, we did it all, but we, we're former athletes college. He made it to the highest level. Which played in here? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't hold it against you. We don't hold it against you. What about you? Um, Coach Dixon and I played together in football. Okay. Also, I played in the Marine Corps and all okay. seasons. Well. Excellent. Yes, yeah, so and we do have military training as well. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. This is good. This is good. Discipline. Yes, yeah. yeah. great conference. <laughs> I know that a lot, a lot of times uh, moms especially want to get their kids into football. And oftentimes, especially our parks in the Cave County, they, they say they don't want them to have a physical contact. Are you teaching them uh, flag football or anything like a touch? Or anything? Well, we don't we don't train sports specific. We okay. we we want the child to be good. good body, break their body. body. It's any body. sport they gotcha. choose to go. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we 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 mm -hmm. we, we develop the whole time. Not yeah. to cut it off, we do train. We do all coach football. Okay. But we do on the side. So it's like all football. I knew that. I figured we do all football. Do with regard to fitness in the terms of weight training? We don't do any weight training. No it's weight training. All body. It's all body. Well, young kids, I guess. Not even 10 pound weights? No, no weights? No, 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 sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. We don't want to stress out the bodies. Okay. Because again, they're still growing. They're still growing. What about diet? Diet, we do. We have. Oh, yes. I'm a special guy. I'm a nutrition guy. Yes. Now, what was important for diet with the kids? Because at their age, they're. They're more prone to snacks, and so we, we mm -hmm. preach a, a, a regimen of healthy snacking. Oh, okay. Vegetables, we, we tell our kids, hey, from day one, eat your vegetables. Mm -hmm. They get a chance to look at the coaches, and we are steadily, steadily harping on the importance of, of vegetables and mainly water. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Having yeah. kids to drink water. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yes. That, that makes sense. Right. drink water. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, um, in such a young age, people at a young age, have you been able to help parents uh, 
to see maybe something that they didn't see in their child. So oftentimes, you know, we talk about eye and, and uh, arms, or eye and hand coordination. And you know, have you found where kids may need glasses that parents didn't know they need glasses and some of the, the skills, stuff that you guys do? Well, no, I'll, 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 go for it. You know, well, that's, that's some of the things we kind of uh, work with the kids with, like technique. And right. Trying to critique everything they do and watch every little thing they do and we kind of go back to the parents and let them know right. what's going on the kid, what they got to work on to get right. better. So, because I remember we're really big on that. We used to have kids and they were small and we wondered why they couldn't hit the ball. Mm -hmm. They couldn't sleep. They couldn't sleep. They couldn't sleep. Yeah. They couldn't sleep. Yeah. We're going to the you know you need glasses, right? <laughs> you know, so I don't want to be having a story. Yeah. like this way. Okay. No, we're not yet. We're not yet. Okay. 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 But we do communicate with the parents. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. What about sportsmanship? Oh, yes. We, oh, very big we have a model. Yeah. Yeah. We have a model of what we do. And it's one of our models. One of our biggest models is preparation. Preparation. Separation. Okay. If you prepare, you separate from the pack. But we we close each session with the word finish. Everything you do, once you get the door and in life, finish. you finish it no matter what. Yes, I like that. I like that. That's, that's, that's excellent. Now, you said there are no shortcuts. You get out of what you put in. Exactly. There's no, nothing. There's no shortcuts. About that. That. <laughs> well, basically, if you give a lackluster uh, effort, effort, that's what you're going to receive. You're going to okay. receive lackluster results. Okay. So we preach our kids, give 110% All so time. you can't give any more and you'll reap the benefits. Of excellent. Now, how old is your organization? Uh, it's just a year old. This is our second year. Old. Yeah, this is good. This is good. We trained over 100 athletes so far. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, that's awesome. I like it. Now, tell me what then, you know. What is top speed techniques? Top speed techniques. A lot of kids come in and, and one for uh, example, they don't raise their knee. And is this demo time? Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 right. they, don't, <laughs> they don't raise the arm strap in close to the arm. Just put a chair just a little bit back. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'll let there you go. Now you can almost run in place right here. Be good. A lot of our kids don't understand that they don't have the strength to raise their legs. Right. And, okay. and we teach them and we give them examples. Make sure we get a good shot of that. Okay. For instance, in terms of uh, a basketball, if you raise a basketball right. up high and that power that generates hit the ground, the ground will give it back to you. Mm -hmm. And that's a key component of running. You have to raise, raise that knee and strike the ground and then give it back to you. Okay. If, you if you look at some of the best sprinters in the world, best runners in the world, they have excellent knee lifts. Right. And a lot of kids, one, they're not strong enough to lift their knee up right. high. So you knee train them to get so that knee. Yes, and then okay. we, 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 we train arm <laughs> more. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's several different techniques, that's but that's, that's key one. That's key one. What about balance then? Balance you know, is so important. Motor skill, they be falling all over the place. How do you teach balance? It's well, so important because we, all the coaches will critique each and every athlete. We'll yeah. notice if one athlete tends to lean on one leg more than the other. Oh, and all, right. yeah, and all. They bring a lot of stuff back. I'm just thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and you're really knowledgeable. I'm going to say that. Yeah. I'm really well, years ago, we, we thought a lot about being knowledgeable about that. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So balance is important. Nutrition yeah. is, 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 is uh, enforced. And you said discipline is enforced. Now, how yeah. did your military background for, for you? How does that help in what you give back to the kids? Uh, with so many kids, uh, I, I'll speak from the program perspective, mm -hmm. and then I'll let somebody touch on how it helps the kids. Mm -hmm. But you have, we, we in ex, we're having excess of 30 to 35 kids sometimes. Okay. So you got to know how to not only motivate sure. kids, but to control them as well. Mm -hmm. and we don't want the control to be so much where they feel like they're being in, in, in a military. Right. 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 So, right. So, so our military training really helped us learn how to not only motivate guys and sure. motivate the athletes and keep them in order, but uh, uh, get our message across effectively as well. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Right. Now, what is the ratio of uh, boys to girls in, in these programs? Um, right now, we may have, we average maybe 10%, 10 girls. 10% okay. girls. Okay. 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 So you have a class of about 30 right now? 30, 35. 30, yes, 35. and in our high schoolers, we have about, and we can have maybe 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. We have two blocks. Okay. Yeah, now, are they training training year, year round? Or? They can. Depending they can. on the sport, when one sport ends and okay. they get ready for the next sport, they can. But if they choose to, like Coach said, they can train year round. You're going to tell me about the military part, too. I mean, let me tell you, I'm going to hit the core right quick. The thing that separates us from other programs is that we don't just focus on the kid and become a better athlete. We also focus on kid academics. Mm -hmm. Because okay. if they can't get the education, they can't go nowhere. Can't go nowhere. No matter how fast we make them, how high they jump. So they can't see a kid and we give them the K, it won't yeah. work. It's we're very big, big on that. <laughs> so, what we try to make, what we try to do to the kids in the program, uh -huh. we try to show them love, 
I mean, right. when they come in every day, we don't just tell them go to stretch and let's get to work. Sure. We go and talk to them, ask my school was, yes. how was they work, how, what your grades were mm -hmm. like this week, you know, mm -hmm. we talk to the parents. Yeah, the we have a problem with yes. kids, yes. we deal with yes. that, yes. not the practice. So we're very big on that. Awesome, yeah. This has been wonderful. Uh, my eyes are open. It seems like a very good program. Can you give us the information how to contact you guys and where yes. you are? Yes. You're looking at camera there, and we'll, we'll get that information for you. Our address, well, I'll give you the website first. The website is onyourmarkgetsetgo.org. Again, that's onyourmarkgetsetgo.org. The email address is oymutespeed at gmail. Oymutespeed at gmail, and the phone number is 404-484-8057. Excellent. All right, well, guys, and we appreciate awesome. you guys coming out and uh, spending some time with us. We'll see if we get down and see what you guys are really doing. <laughs> and see what the guys are doing. That would be great. That would be great. And That'd see what's great. going on. Well, great. Uh, our guests have been on your mark, athletics. Uh, we had who? who was the we had um, uh, Coach Henry, Coach mm -hmm. Greenwood, okay. and uh, Coach Conrad, <laughs> <laughs> and Coach Dix. And Coach Dix. I'm All right, sorry. Well, guys, I thank you so much for coming by. Uh, we'll get back with you as soon as we can to go down and see what they're doing. I know. Uh, wonderful. Thank Good. You. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You want to stay and watch the show along with my co host, Samantha Caldwell. Hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget tonight, call me, 770 559 2999 is our telephone call for you tonight. We'll be right back. <laughs>